10 interesting facts about the Hausa people or Hausa tribe. Hello, the explorers. Welcome to another interesting video presented to you by the explorer, and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be exploring some interesting facts about the Hausa people. The Hausa are a diverse but culturally homogeneous people based primarily in the Sahelian and the Spa Savanna areas of southern Nigeria and northern Nigeria, respectively. Numbering over 75 million people, with significant indigenized populations in Benin, Cameroon, Ivory Coast, Chad, Sudan, Central African Republic, Republic of Congo, Togo, Ghana, Eritrea, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Senegal, and the Gambia. The Hausa traditionally live in small villages as well as in pre colonial towns and cities where they grow crops, raise livestock, including cattle, as well as engage in trade both local and long distance, across Africa. They speak the Hausa language, an Afro-Asiatic language of the Chadic group. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. So without any further delay, here are some interesting facts about the Hausa people. Number 1. They are the largest ethnic groups in Africa in terms of population, with about 75 million people. Nigeria has the highest population of Hausa people, with about 61 million, followed by Niger and Ivory Coast, with 10 and 1 million respectively. 10 other countries have significant number of Hausa people, as listed in the introduction. Hausa is also the second most spoken African language after Arabic. Number 2. Rich Cultural Heritage The culture of the Hausa tribe is their most unique feature. Their culture defines everything about them. A short stay with Hausa natives will give you a hint of what we are talking about here. From their greeting style to their food, the way they farm and so on. Everything comes together to make up an interesting African tribe. The Hausa tribe has many interesting cultural and traditional practices that define them. Some of which include cocoa or wrestling ceremonies, hunting expeditions, farming rituals, Binge drinking. The title of Sakin Arna is given to the best binge drinker in a Hausa community, as well as numerous other traditional practices. Number 3. Low cost of marriage. Over 90% of the Hausa tribe are Muslims, hence, most Hausa traditional marriages are based on Islamic rites. Aside from the fact that Hausa tradition does not believe in charging exorbitant bread prices from suitors, unlike is in the norm for many other tribes. The sadaki, which means payment of dowry, does not require extravagant spending from the suitors. This is because the Hausa tribe believes that lower bride prices attract more blessings for the bride and her marriage. Marriage celebrations usually last up to a week in some cases. Number 4. The Hausa tribe is known to be one of the most hospitable tribes in Africa. The scorch of insurgency in a few states of northern Nigeria has cast a die on this fact. However, this still remains true. Hausa people are hospitable and would readily accommodate strangers unlike other tribes, especially in Nigeria, Cameroon and Niger. It is quite easy to make and maintain long-lasting friendships with someone from the Hausa tribe. Number 5. One of the interesting things about the Hausa tribe is their undying love for horses. This is partly due to the fact that the Hausa tribe is mainly dominated by Muslims. During any Islamic holiday or Durba, Hausa people are seen parading beautiful and healthy horses, which they ride in so much elegance. No tribe in Africa comes close to the Hausas in terms of possession of horses. Some of these horses are imported from Argentina, Brazil, and Spain. Number 6. The Hausa people are also known to be great farmers. In Nigeria alone, no other Nigerian tribe has more farmers than the Hausa tribe. Every Nigerian grown food crop is vastly produced by the Hausa tribe. The Hausa tribe have been able to use the large expanse of land available to them to churn out enough food to feed a large chunk of the nation's population. It is quite interesting to see how the Hausa farmers, who are barely literate, produce tons of food crops for the nation's populace. Imagine what they could achieve with proper government funding and support. Number 7. The Hausas are different in dressing. The dress code of the Hausa people is highly restricted. 
due to the religious or Islamic beliefs. The man dress in flowing gown, known as Babanriga, whose neck is decorated with beautiful embroidery designs, and a long robe called Juani and Jalabia. Then, to complete the dressing, a colorful embroidery cap known as Fula will be added to the outfit. On the women's side, they wear a wrapper known as Abaya, which is nicely designed with a decorated and colorful cloth with a matching blouse, head tie, and a shawl. The houses are well known for this type of unique dressing. You won't fail to recognize them anywhere you see them with these dressing codes. Number 8. The most common food that the Hausa people prepare consists of grains such as sorghum, millet, rice, or maize, which are ground into flour for a variety of different kinds of dishes. This food is popularly known as tuo in the Hausa language. Usually, breakfast consists of cakes and dumplings made from ground beans and fried, known as kosai, or made from wheat flour soaked for a day, fried, and served with sugar or chili, known as funkaso. Both of these cakes can be served with porridge and sugar, known as kunu or cocoa. Lunch or dinner usually features a heavy porridge with soup and stew, known as tuo damia. The soup and stew are usually prepared with ground or chopped tomatoes, onions, and local spices. Spices and other vegetables such as spinach, pumpkin, or okra are added to the soup during preparation. The stew is prepared with meat, which can include goat or cow meat, but not pork due to Islamic food restrictions. Beans, peanuts, and milk are also served as complementary protein diets for the Hausa people. Number 9. The Hausa people are highly influential in the society. Let's take a glance at some few countries with a large number of Hausa people, e.g. the Nigerian, Cameroonian, and Niger politics. We'll realize that it is dominated by the Hausa ethnic group, and most of the political leaders are from the Hausa tribe. The reason why the Hausa people are being considered as a good politician is the fact that they are good in utilizing opportunities and are also very strategic. Apart from the politics zone, the Hausas are also influential in the religion world. Number 10. Hausa Folklore It's always interesting to dig into the Hausa folklore and take a look at their interesting legends one more time. The legend has it that the Hausa tribe was formed when the Bayajida of Baghdad had a quarrel with his father. Then he migrated to Daura, present-day northern Nigeria, sometime between 9th and 10th century AD. He then met the king of Daura and helped him slay a dangerous snake which was preventing the people from fetching water. As a reward, the queen of Daura offered her hand in marriage to Bayajida. It was Bayajida's son Bawo who then founded the city of Biram, named after Bawo's first son. Biram had six sons who went on to become six Hausa city-states collectively known as Hausa Bokwai, meaning Hausa Seven. The Hausa tribe evolved then. Dear Displorers, for watching this video all the way to the end, here is an extra bonus fact about the Hausa people. Number 11. The Hausa culture is rich in traditional sporting events such as boxing, dambe, stick fight, takai, wrestling, kokawa, and so many others that were originally organized to celebrate harvest, but over the generations, developed into sporting events for entertainment purposes. Dambe is a brutal form of traditional martial art associated with the Hausa people of West Africa. Its origin is shrouded in mystery. However, Edward Poe, a researcher of Nigerian martial art culture, recognizes striking similarities in stands and single wrapped fists of Hausa boxes to images of ancient Egyptian boxes from the 12th and 13th dynasties. Thanks for watching this video, dear explorers. If you want us to cover any particular tribe, do all to leave your suggestions in the comments and we will do all to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do all to give it a thumbs up, do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.